How's it going? Jasper from Nemo Codes here. Last week, Meta released a new social platform called Threads, which is a direct competitor to Twitter and also known as the Twitter clone on the internet. And over the weekend, I thought it would be pretty interesting if I could clone a Twitter clone uh, with Flutterflow. Here is the result. From the landing page, we can click on the Get Started button to be logged into my testing account. And you'll be able to see a timeline of threads where you can like the threads, comment on the threads, see others reply, like the reply, or even reply to a reply. So here we pretty much implemented the fundamentals, the, the key social features of a thread-based social app like threads or Twitter. And we also have the other four pages as well, such as the search page where you can see all users on the platform, Currently on the back end, I have these fake user accounts set up. And you can also trigger a posting pop-up where you can post a new thread and also attach an image if you want. On the fourth page, you have an activity page where you will be able to see if someone liked your thread or replied to your thread. And based on the activity type, you can see different messages such as the user who liked your thread or a user's reply to your thread. You are also able to click on the activity and see exactly the thread that these activities took place. And you'll be able to filter by the activity type as well. And on the last page, it is your personal profile page where you have a profile pic, a display name, your user handle, your bio description, follower counts, and some of their avatars and also a link where you can click on. On the second half of the page, you have a tab for a timeline of your own threads and also another tab for users reply to your threads. And like the timeline or activity page, we can actually also head to exactly the thread you posted or received replies from by clicking on the thread items here. I have tried my best to replicate threads design and this is what we have here. All of the data are actually dynamic, meaning that they are actually hooked up to a backend and automatically populated from the backend. And the key social functionalities all work as well. For example, I can post a new thread, like a thread, and post a new reply as well. A quick disclaimer, not everything is replicated because it would take a lot more time. It is pretty impossible for one person just to replicate exactly everything over a weekend. Because the truth is that I took Meta, a whole team, a lot more time to polish and to make. And more importantly, I just don't see a point to make a one-to-one -one exact clone to that app. That being said, I do believe it is a good starting point for a lot of people to learn the fundamentals of building a social app like this Because it does involve learning the fundamentals to implement the front end from an existing design that you have received or you have designed on Figma. It also involves learning how to implement backend logics um, behind a lot of the common social features such as posting, liking or unliking a post, replying to a post and even replying to a reply or liking a reply. If you could implement all of these fundamental social features and also replicate very closely what you have received in terms of design, you are pretty much good to go and expand on all of these fundamental skills that you, you, you have learned and build more features on top of this good starting point. I'm running a two-part workshop in the next coming weeks, teaching you how to make a social app like these with Flutterflow. So check the link in the description down below for more details. If you're already building with Flutterflow and want to check out this project file, as a good starting template or simply just to check it out, feel free to use my public project link down below and clone it if you need it. Also, let me know what you think and how you might build a lot of these functionalities differently on Flutterflow. I'm always happy to learn new ways to build different functionalities and hack around with it. And that's it for today. Until next time, ciao.